Meantime, Israel officials met today to discuss a retaliation plan after Iran launched an attack in the country over the weekend. The U.S. is considering a number of bills that could provide funding for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest on what's happening overseas and in Congress. With the response to Iran's weekend attack likely imminent, the world is waiting to see how far Israel will go. We don't want to see this escalate, but we also uh, support Israel's right to defend itself. The Israeli war cabinet meeting for the third straight day weighing its options. The Biden administration has been urging restraint and four U.S. officials tell NBC News they expect a limited Israeli response, most likely involving strikes against Iranian forces and Iranian-backed proxies outside of Iran. Iran's unprecedented and unsuccessful missile and drone attacks against Israel came in response to a strike on the Iranian embassy compound in Syria. Iran warning it would mount an immediate and severe response to any further Israeli action. This is the moment for everybody to sit down and say we had a punch and a counterpunch. Let's not turn this into a regional war. Congress is now considering its next foreign aid funding steps as House Speaker Mike Johnson outlines his plans to split military aid for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan into separate bills with a fourth piece of legislation tying together other Republican national security priorities. The Senate would then have to vote again. Time is of the essence. Far-right members who oppose Ukraine aid escalating their threats to kick Speaker Johnson out of his job. Uh, I am not resigning, and it is, um, it is, in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion. Johnson saying a fresh speaker fight would not be helpful for the cause or the country. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said today her department would not hesitate to work with allies to level new sanctions against Iran as this conflict with Israel plays out. Iran already faces heavy sanctions, raising questions about how much of a deterrent they are. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.